What's good YouTube? Ryan Babs here. Today we are back with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about um, dollar cost averaging and how it works. I'm going to show you the numbers behind it using Excel. For those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. Here on this channel I'm going to be covering personal finance topics, men's lifestyle topics, fitness topics, and then I'm going to take you along through my journey through life as well. We all have something to provide and I'm just here to share my journey with you guys. So, um, I mentioned dollar cost average in my last video and I'm gonna, this hopefully will help explain how it works and the power behind it. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to Excel real quick and then um, we'll just go ahead and walk you through this scenario that I came up with in my head. So, pretty much, let me blow this up so y'all can see better. I'm gonna move me over here. Okay, so we got our friend Mitch. At the beginning of the year, Mitch decides he wants to invest $10,000 in Apple. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna have, so I'm gonna set this by week, um, price, shares, Actually, let's change this to investment. Number of number of number of shares, and then investment. Actually, let's do this. Stock price, and then y'all can see how I'm doing this too, and then. this all nice and pretty for you guys center that underline now this is all we need right here so I can show you how this works so one two three four five six seven we're gonna do 25 weeks 13 14, 17 18 Okay, so Mitch, he decided at the beginning of the year he wants to invest $10,000 in Apple. Now the numbers that I'm gonna provide to you are actual data I got from Yahoo Finance. So he wants to invest $10,000 in Apple. He can do this two ways. He can either split it up throughout the lifetime, throughout the year, or he can do it all at once. So we're just gonna go ahead and just say he does it all at once. So uh, actually this equals, we're just gonna, I'm gonna just drop formulas in here divided by that. I know there's nothing there. So we're just gonna drop this down. There now it's all there. So we're gonna do ten thousand dollars. And then initially the initial stock price of January so he decides he wants to do this at the beginning of first Monday of the year and he's gonna do this every Monday. Oh, well, this is gonna be the first one. It's gonna be one time thing. So the stock price on one six two thousand twenty was two ninety three seventy nine. Open. We're gonna put that in there. So he has thirty four shares. So I'm gonna copy and paste this so y'all can see it. Copy. Paste. Okay. So this is the one time investment. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna split it up 25 or 25 weeks, which is gonna be $400 a week. Let's say you're using Cash App, if you have access to partial fractional shares on Robinhood, whatever investment platform you use. So we're just, if it allows for fractional shares, you can see this. So what we're gonna do, instead of $10,000 at once, we're gonna change this to 400, and then I'm just gonna drop See if it'll let me do it all the way down, or if it's gonna be 401. So we're just gonna do 400 dollars all the way down to here. So I got the actual stock prices from January 6th all the way from every Monday for every week until this past Monday. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drop these numbers in here real quick. 
And I don't know why it fluctuated like this, but this is, before, but you're gonna see the effect of this. Three, 10, 106. Three, over four, 130. Three, 14, 18. Three, 15, 106. 297.26 and he he does Mitch does this every week every Monday he invests now the runner starts happening he decides to invest four hundred dollars every week instead of doing the Ten thousand dollars at once. Two. Uh, I'm almost done. I got three more weeks left, and then we're just gonna start plugging in numbers. Okay. So now we have seven, six, or seven weeks left. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make start making up numbers. So let's say. Apple has their earnings call today, I think, when I'm, as of me recording this video, they have their earnings call. So let's say they report good earnings and this thing jumps up to three, no, let's do 295.96 as of the next Monday. I don't know if that's gonna be real or not. This is just me speculating. And things are starting in the real world, things are starting back to normal. So let's just go ahead and just plug in some numbers. So we got 295, 96, 298, 89. I'm like, like I said, this is me making the up until since we're on no everything's going back to normal. We're just gonna plug in numbers and slowly increase the stock price, even though this isn't this is me making numbers up, guys. So don't believe this is what's really gonna happen, what it's gonna be. I can't predict that. So I'm just gonna plug in these numbers for the next 30 week for the next four weeks. And then let's say something bad happens, so it drops back down to 300.52, and then it goes back up to, uh, let's say I have a really good week, 310.56. Okay, so now we're gonna add these up. Equals sum. Of all of these, it should be ten thousand, which we get. This it we're not we're we're gonna plug this. We're gonna plug this number. So then, actually, I'm just gonna set the formula now. It's gonna equal that divided by this. I know there's nothing there. Equal sum. We're gonna sum all these number of shares out. Did it work in this example? Yes, it did. Okay, it worked. Okay, so instead of just throwing in ten thousand dollars at once at two ninety three seventy nine, you would have thirty four oh three. Hang on a second, I got a FaceTime call. All right, sorry about that. So anyway, so pretty much, so instead of buying all the shares at the beginning of the year. Or putting your total investment at the beginning of the year, getting coming out with thirty-four dollars and or thirty-four shares at an average cost of this, you will then have a little slightly just tiny bit more shares. But this is the big number right here. Your cost is lower. So what that so what the good thing about doing it this way is that you can sell it. Or whenever you decide to go in and sell your shares, if you ever decide to go sell your Apple shares for whatever reason, you would you make more money instead of selling it here. Now the difference isn't you want to be making. I mean, it'd be a difference, but as long as your average stays under what this is the averaging down thing works, or dollar cost averaging works. But if the share price is above this, whenever you go buy more shares, now it just happened to work out this way, which is why I don't remember if I mentioned talking in my last video about dollar cost averaging, about why it was hard for me, because there there's only a select few companies that can dollar 
cost averaging because I think I bought, you know, I got it at the bottom of, uh, yeah, bottom of the market, which for Apple's case would be here, week 12, and what was the week? And I said, I think I said March 24th was around the bottom of the market for me. That's what I coined my Robinhood portfolio. And that was, yeah, that was the next day, which was the day before 3.23. So with this, that stands to be true. But long story short, with dollar cost averaging, you're getting more shares at a lower cost so you can make more profit in the long run if you decide to sell. That's essentially it. That's why it helps with, and then if the price drops below this, below the, below this, you can average down and get your costs lower so you can just easily resell for more money. But that's essentially how it works. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to smash the like button. Um, I got my April dividends income coming next and then I made some moves. So I got, it's either gonna be another portfolio update or something else, but um, we'll see what I'm dropping next. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if I helped you because my goal. I just want to help one person. Um, but yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one.